Hey guys, what's going on? This is just now. You just want to look at my next video where I. Hey, Jim, you gotta go to the dentist. What, what do you mean I have to go to the dentist yeah, right Jim, now? Yeah, seriously, gotta go to the dentist. Alrighty then, I guess I can go and get John Paul Jones to fill in for me. Okay, then I guess I'll just let John Paul Jones teach you all about Tsar Nicholas then. Uh, bye, I guess. Hi, I'm John Paul Jones, Senator of the Galactic Federation Empire. I might not know anything about history from the Soul System, let alone Earth, but I'm here to teach you people all about Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. Tsar Nicholas was a big fat meanie who didn't care about his people at all. His people hate him so much that they even decided to overthrow him. He was the last ruler of the Russian Empire and didn't know what he was doing at all. He even pretty much single-handedly caused World War I. I don't know what you think about him, but he seems like a pretty swell guy. Tsar Nicholas was born in Winter Palace outside of Leningrad, I mean St. Petersburg, and he married some German chick named Alexandra Fedorovna, whose maiden name was Alex of Hesse, Hesse, whatever. She was reluctant to marry him because she believed in a different denomination of the religion where some brown guy was stapled to a plank of wood than Nicholas. Sorry if that sounds insensitive, but in the Lenin system where I come from, we believe in an orange guy who was near to, his, to a pickle. His name was Tronald Dump. So as I was saying, Tsar Nicholas II received his position at the age of 26 when Nicholas's father, Alexander III, died of an illness that was probably AIDS or something. And he was given a crown the next day. He was given an object called a silk crown that was made of anything but silk during his crowning ceremony and became Emperor of Russia. Through many years of his men shooting people during revolutions, a failed war in Japan, and eventually World War I, Nicholas had failed his people so bad that they wish he had died. They wish he had died so badly that they brutally executed him with the rest of his family by firing squad. I hope you've enjoyed your bedtime story, the end. By the way, Tsar Nicholas is my favorite Tsar. He had a good business model. Hey, yo, my space! African Americans. I just want to tell you about the movie director Timothy Mikulajcik was making for the past few months called System Strike. You can go and find it on the Source and David channel. If you want to make him watch a movie like Star Wars, by the way, it's rated R due to vulgar language, so please make sure you're 17 plus or have your parents' permission to watch it. I'd check it out. Seriously, great movie, lots of good jokes, great references, lots of space stuff. Have a good day.